Okay, I'm gonna show you a quick uh, explanation of switches because I was pretty confused when I went to look and figure it all out and people didn't do a really good job of explaining it in my opinion so I'm gonna do this real quick show you guys how to do switches it's really very simple and they make it seem way too complex when people are explaining it so I'm gonna explain it in a way everybody can understand just go to my test map right here and we're gonna start a fresh a fresh switch and activator so we'll go to this button up here which turns us into event mode let's see I'm gonna put it right here let's call it we're gonna have the way to start the activator is by the confirm button here We're going to make the activator object that's going to control the switch. You can make the activator anything you want. Let's make it whatever this is. Make sure it's on same as character so that you can't walk through it. Autonomous movement should be fixed. You don't want it to move around because it's going to be a uh, an activator. And you trigger it with the confirm button. So pressing X or whatever you're using on your Nintendo Switch or your um, PC. So here is the, pretty much it's going to be a button. This thing in here is a button that's going to activate our switch over here. Make it a door. So right now all we have is two empty events with nothing in them. We've got our activator right here. Event that we want to alter right here. This will be our switch, this door. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add another page to this event and change the image to an open door add a little door sound effect just for fun And what we're going to do is, when you click this box here, what it does is it pretty much turns this open door here on page 2 into a switch that can be controlled with the activator trigger that we made, that person laying on the ground to the left. So we're going to turn this into a switch. All this does over here is name the switch. We're going to call it Open Door Test Switch. So that what that did is this turns this into an event that can be controlled with a button or an activator. And page one is just going to be a normal image. So this will be what will show up before you hit the button to control the switch. So it'll be on here. And then we turn the second page into the switch. So when we hit the button over there, the person laying on the ground, it will activate this page over here. I'll show you how we'll do that. So right now we just have a two page switch. First page is the image you'll see when you walk into the map. It'll be there always until you activate the button. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make it so it switches to this page and plays the open door sound. So we'll go over here to our button. 
It's going to be activated with the confirm button. Go down here to control switches. We're going to go to that switch that we just named. Open door, test. And we are going to turn this on. So what that should do is activate that second page that we put the that we applied the switch option to. I think that's all we need to do for that. You can make it look as nice as you want and change sound effects to make it look more cool. So we're going to go over here to this page, which is activated by that button over there, the person laying on the ground. And we know that th it's going to control this because we set the open door on page two to a switch. So it's going to change to this image and start running commands on the second page here. And set our player position right here. Let's test it real quick. And we have an open door. So I think I need to change that to auto run so that doesn't happen. <laughs> Let me see. Back to the event page. Auto run makes it so it runs the event as soon as the event shows up. So what I think that will do, because you sort of have to play test everything, is it should open the door and then stay open. <laughs> so I know what we did there. We have to move the sound effect over to the uh, button. Your best bet is just mess around with it. So let's change the sound effect. Well, let's get rid of it. Hit triangle, just cut, or delete. So putting the sound effect on the switch will make it so that it doesn't run that sound effect over and over again when the door is open. Because we're only activating the switch once, or the, I'm sorry, the button over here, this guy over here. Maybe you can make it so that he has to say an incantation or a magic spell to open the door. You know, just write your way around it. Alright. And that's... That switches in a nutshell. We could probably do something to get rid of that too, this problem. I think you could switch it to page two. So let's switch it to page two. A new event page. Let's use the same image. So you don't want the image to disappear.
So what we're going to do is we're going to use a self switch to make him make the switch turn itself off. Or sorry, this button here that we're looking at. Um, the person button we made. We're going to make it a self switch. So what that does is pretty much it can control itself. So we're going to turn this page over here on self switch A. So what that'll do is we can put a command over here that when this is this command tree is done, you go down to control self switch, control self switch A. Let's turn that on. And that should move us over to this page because we turn this page into self switch A. So we're controlling the self switch A with this command over here, control self switch A, turning it on, which opens this page, which there's nothing in the contents. So it'll just be a sta static image. It'll just look like this. Click it on the door, nothing can happen. Open the door. We can put a transfer event right here where I'm standing. And then you click on this and nothing, nothing happens because it switched to page two where there's no context by the self switch A. So let's say you wanted to make it so there's a transfer event in front of this door so it'll actually send you somewhere. Using the uh, button should work. I'm not going to put any image because we want it to be invisible. Activate it by player touch. So that when the player walks on top of it, it'll activate. Transfer player. We're going to move them um, to... Let's just move them over here for test purposes. We're going to have the direction go to up because you're walking up to get into the door so you don't want them to exit facing downward or a different direction. And we're going to also turn this into a switch as well. Clicking this turns it into a switch that we can con that we can control. Let's put it right here. Control switches because we're going to try and control that uh, transfer event under the door by turning it on. Let's try this out. Let open the door. Now let's say, now you're ready to walk through the door. And it's bug free. So that's pretty much switches in a nutshell.